call tomorrow night, Sherm. You and I will be on the air again. With the Boston Celtics coming to town. And Toronto suddenly having lost back-to-back -back games. Here's, I, I need to make a little quick video just to talk to Raptors fans. I don't want to say talk them off the ledge because that would be foolish anyways even to put yourself there knowing about this team, but on the block, we've had our talks in the podcast and in the WhatsApp group, former guys that used to be on the show, and we've talked about the Raptors numerous times. And, you know, Raptors fans that have followed this team, you know, since, since its inception, even the last, you know, few playoff runs, we know what this team is right now. That being said, I think it's safe to say this is the best team that they've ever had. Right? Top to bottom, uh, 1 through 12, most depth, most power, uh, best defense, best offense, most efficient. Um, you know, they've beat Cleveland before the trades. You know, we've beaten Houston twice. Uh, we've beaten Boston. Lost them the last game. Point is, this team has done what they've needed to do in the regular season, and I've told the guys this before. A few games ago, before they started this tough stretch, I said, you know, whether they lose the remaining four, five, six games, whatever is left, or they win the next six, um, there's not much that this team can do otherwise in the regular season. Their work is done, right? Now, whether they win 54, 60 games, it really doesn't matter, other than the fact they might set a franchise record for wins. We know that this team is going to be judged off their playoff run. That being said, Halfway point, the Raptors were, believe, still in second. Uh, All-Star game came, I think they were in first. We've Raptors have been in first ever since. Now, because the Cleveland's made these trades, and you know they've they've turned the pedal on when they've wanted to, when they haven't. LeBron's praised himself, um, and, and rightfully so in the sense where he is still the best player in the league when he wants to be, which is not very often, but when he needs to be. The NBA Finals, at least through the East, are going through LeBron James. It doesn't matter who's on his team if he has a men's league squad. Because that guy, nobody can stop him. The Raptors are throwing everybody from Ibaka to OG, CJ Miles, uh, Norm Powell, not DeMar DeRozan for obvious reasons. Point is what I'm getting at is, we can't watch his team beat Houston, so-called best teams in the league, come close to Golden State both times. And, and ride the high when they're winning, and then all of a sudden they lose these games to LeBron and, and everybody's saying, oh, this is the same team that we've seen this whole time. Fool's gold, this and that. I told the guys in the group, now, how many teams are there that are legit championship contenders this year that you would bet money on? Not a lot, but you bet money on. You obviously have Golden State and Cleveland, and the only other team that people would bet money on is going to be the Houston Rockets, right? In that next year, I'd put Toronto with... Uh, Boston and you know maybe teams like San Antonio a few other teams that I'm forgetting off the top of my head which don't really matter because they're not going to win which is my point now if this team avoids Cleveland until the East final which would be great the, the truth is that they're most likely not going to beat LeBron and that's just the sad reality uh, when the playoffs come there's a reason why you know, DeMar, Kyle and, and all whoever we've had in Toronto have not rose to the occasion because if you watch basketball, you know what playoff basketball is. And unlike any sport really out of the major four North American sports, hockey probably being the next one, is there that much of a difference between regular season and playoffs? And the cream rises to the top. You can't get those shots off. You're not going to get space. You're going to be forced to take very tough contested shots. And that's where the Raptors struggle. Kyle being shorter than average, not fast, not getting... You know, he's not getting above his defender to, to release the shot. These are things that are most likely not going to change. The Raptors have done a great job with Dwayne Casey limiting his minutes, keeping him more fresh. Numbers are down, obviously. But we've seen Frank, Va uh, Fred Van Vliet, sorry, and even DeLon, a lot of guys, CJ, Pascal, Perto, all these guys step up. And Dwayne's done a great job of doing, of, of monitoring the minutes. DeMar's had some quiet games, he's had some big games. Like I said, when the playoffs come, at the age of 28, I believe DeMar is, and 30, or give or take what Kyle is, these guys are what they are. And that being said, you know what? They're going to be the two greatest Raptors of all time. Most likely, right? Vince had his time, but Vince didn't get as far as these guys did. And I love Vince. 
So let's pay respect to Dwayne Casey, these guys for what they've done. And by no means am I throwing in the towel. The point of this video, what I'm trying to say is, I don't want to hear any more Raptors fans getting in, on Instagram, commenting and talking to their boys, saying, oh, this team's going to the finals when they beat teams. And all of a sudden, when they lose tough games on the road at the end of the season, all of a sudden, everybody's jumping off shifts saying, oh, these are the same Raptors I've seen forever. That being said, best of, best of luck to the squad. <laughs> um, obviously, I, I, uh, I, I've been at you know most, I'd say like 90% of the games this year at home. Um, and I've watched this team and, and they've been very different on, at home as opposed to traveling on the road. They are, this year, probably the best home team. And we've seen them struggle on the road. Wishing these guys the best of luck going into the playoffs. They're going to need it going against LeBron and these guys. But, you know, do I still believe that they could make it to the finals? Hell yeah, they got a shot. But they're going to have to give everything they got, and we're going to need this city to back them. Good luck, boys.